On the job, it's part of your responsibility to help prevent fires. Extreme care is especially important when working with chemicals such as flammable solvents, gasoline, gases and fuels. A number of the chemicals used in the workplace are both highly toxic and highly volatile. Extreme caution must be used to prevent and fight fires resulting from chemical spills and accidents. Know the hazards of the chemical substances you use on the job and how to handle and store them properly to prevent dangerous chemical fires. Chemical Hazards Chemicals can cause serious injuries through physical or health hazards, such as fire or explosion or burns or poisons. Many chemicals have inherent properties that make them very hazardous. They might include flammability. These chemicals catch fire very easily. Hazards include property damage, burns, and injuries that result when toxic and corrosive compounds are released into the air. Reactivity. A reactive material is one that can undergo a chemical reaction under certain conditions. Reactive substances can burn, explode, or release toxic vapor if exposed to other chemicals, air, or water. An explosive is a substance which undergoes a very rapid chemical change, producing large amounts of gas and heat. Explosions can also occur as a result of reactions between chemicals, not ordinarily considered explosive. Handling flammable liquids. Flammable liquids give off ignitable vapors, and there are many ignition sources. Also, nearly all flammable liquid vapors are heavier than air and will accumulate when they escape. They are dangerous at that point, but when they accumulate sufficiently, they travel and eventually find open flame. These flames, or ignition sources, might be cigarettes, a hand tool that sparks, a cutting torch, or an operating motor. Transfer of flammable liquids refers to their removal from storage to the places where they will be used. Liquids can be dispensed from drums by two methods, gravity flow for drums stored horizontally and pump method for drums stored vertically. The typical workplace stores flammable liquids in two ways, reserve storage in drums and storage in small quantities for use at workstations. For reserve storage safety, as soon as a drum is unloaded, the bung cap should be removed and a drum vent screwed in. This prevents buildup if the drum is exposed to heat. Proper vents also incorporate emergency relief devices, which blow out under extreme pressure. Drums also should be connected to a grounding system. This eliminates static electrical buildup when dispensing from the drum. If your plant does not have a drum storage room, drums should be stored in a safety cabinet. They are available in sizes to hold drums vertically and horizontally. The handling stage is workstation operations when you are using flammable liquids as you work. There are many workstation cans and tanks from which to choose. Liquids should be stored in safety cabinets near the workstation. Disposing of waste flammable liquids requires as much caution in handling as do any of the other stages. Oily solvent soaked rags can easily start a fire through spontaneous combustion. To prevent this, specially designed waste cans should always be used for temporary storage. These cans can have spring-loaded lids and a raised bottom with vent holes to dispense heat. For removing flammable liquids from the workstation for disposal, drain cans and liquid disposal cans offer the greatest degree of safety. Spill Cleanup It is the vapors rather than the liquid itself that burn. When the liquid is spilled, vapor release begins immediately and continues until the liquid is removed. This requires that cleanup operations begin at once. Specially developed absorbent materials have been developed for spill cleanup. These products are offered in pillows, pads, sheets, tubes, and other shapes to fit all cleanup needs. Once the absorbent material is saturated, it should be placed in a large disposal drum and sealed with a drum cover. Wrap up. Any fire in the workplace has the potential to cause serious personal or property damage. When chemicals are involved, the possibilities for destruction are greatly multiplied. Prevention is the key to eliminating the hazards of any kind of fire where you work, and preparation is the key to controlling the consequences of a fire. Thank you for your attention, and work safely.